So the spaces are really collaborative and our teachers are constantly talking together on meeting the needs of our learners. They each have their own whānau group, but it's quite fluid who they might be working with during the day. So um, a teacher might be teaching and working with a group of children on reading and science tasks and they're not necessarily the children that are in their whānau group. So lots and lots of um, learning conversations between teachers about the needs of children and whether the programmes are reflecting the needs of children. So I think the spaces are just so perfect for enabling people to work together. I think we've always talked about the spaces um, are great, they're amazing learning environments, but it really comes down to what we're doing in the spaces. So as long as we've got a really sound understanding of what we're trying to achieve and that why we're trying to do things, is really important so that every time um, we, you know, we plan uh, a new curriculum area or a, a unit of work that it's really meaningful and we take it back to our vision and values and as a future focused um, really aspect and thinking about what we're trying to do for our kids is make them ha have an amazing time while they're here and make learning really fun and enjoyable but also with that, uh, that wider lens of you know getting them ready to be successful when they go uh, you know, out and, into well, the world which they're going into, which is really unknown. I think the spaces are quite good because they're quite big and um, there's lots of them and there's little breakout spaces that you can go in and work by yourself in. So the breakout spaces are used in different ways and what was really important at the beginning of the year, there was choice from teachers and from children about how those breakout spaces would best work for everybody. Some teachers and learning studios set them up as spaces with tables and some of them were set up as spaces where children might work quite independently as a quiet space. If I wanted to work with a group of people, there's big tables around and they have like about four or five seats in them and that's where you go if you want to work in a group. In the makerspace areas, these are used in different ways, so they might be used for um, science teaching. So we've got quite a skills-based uh, curriculum. We thought it would be really important that we taught children the skills they needed in each of the curriculum areas so that they could then embark on their own passion projects and their own inquiries. So our gym is open all day, so it's open before before school, morning tea and lunchtime for the children to play in. The library is available for families at any time, which is fabulous. We've got a couple of um, rooms off the library. One is the Fano room, which is where I do all of my enrolments, and then um, a meeting room as well. The staff spaces are separate to, to the rest of the school, and they are spaces where staff can come and work in quietly by themselves, collaboratively. As there is no provision for teacher workroom within the learning studios, it was really important to create a space where staff could just work. And the exciting thing is that they don't know any better. So they're going to expect to have these wonderful learning spaces throughout their whole educational journey.